Personal Jazz is a project, uh, I guess, with Matthew Johnson and Daniel Tate and myself, Tiger Dula, and uh, we make electronic music uh, with a heavy emphasis on improvisation and, and influences of jazz, and it's something that we've been doing for, yeah, about eight years. Um, I think Dan wanted to include jazz in the name, and our friend... Uh... Sheila E uh, thought it would be appropriate for our music, and she came up with it, but um, it was really kind of a natural thing. We didn't have any sort of ideas about fusing jazz and dance music at that time. Um, but it's kind of funny it worked out that it way. It kind of worked out that way, sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the cobblestone. I think, I think cobblestone, just because of the idea of, you know, like lots of different kinds of stones all put together, you know, like we have lots of different styles. We also, you know, um, we produce drum and bass, like down tempo, you know, also like ambient music and all those kind of things. So we have a lot of different facets of music that we are really into and, and we, even though, you know, in clubs we're playing house music and techno, we're certainly not, not trying to limit ourselves in the way we think about the music in that sense. You know, so it's, it's all kind of happened naturally and now we're, you know. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Actually, Daniel and myself are based in Victoria, uh, which is an island probably about the size of what, Great Britain, maybe? Uh, it's pretty pretty big. Victoria and the city where they live is, is almost like a retirement town, you know. It's, it's just, it's really, it's really beautiful, you know, the ocean, there's mountains. Uh, both myself and Daniel prefer the laid back island lifestyle, and uh, Matthew has since moved on to bigger and better things, and he's living in Berlin now. Well, I, I moved to Berlin um, basically just because I don't want to fly over the Atlantic four times a month. And that's kind of what I've been doing for the last three years. And it's just, it's starting to hurt my back, you know? So when tour come, time comes with, with our album, they're gonna, they're gonna be doing the same thing I was, you know? And it's really, really tiring. Having, having a place here, you know, um, especially a place like this, you know, um, is it's somewhere, it's somewhere where we don't have to stay in hotels during the week. So if I'm here, when we go on tour, you know, you, on, from Monday to Friday, we can actually be working in a studio that I'll have here. Um, and we'll be touring a lot, so, so we'll probably be actually getting more done than maybe even we were in Canada. Um, just because with me touring so much, and then living in, we live in two different cities, it was quite hard to ever, ever get together. are all, all trained, um, like I'm a, I'm a jazz drummer. Uh, Patty's more of a DJ, but also has like a really extensive jazz collection. Um, Dan's probably the, the most jazz influenced out of all of us. And I was amazed by jazz as a young person, for sure. 14, I was listening to that on the bus, actually. School trips up to the ski hill or whatever, I'd get ridiculed by having Benny Goodman and my, <laughs> <laughs> it was my little case when they found it. But anyway, jazz, it's got a long history. It's always had a history of sort of progression and progressing forward, you know? Like, it, it's not the kind of art form that wants to stay still. Jazz is a feeling that we get when we are producing music. Sometimes it's sort of there, and then other times we sort of get this feeling, and it, and it has that element of jazz. Um, we really try and talk back and forth to each other um, with the music, um, kind of in the same sense as, as if you if you're watching a jazz band play, and, and the saxophone player would do his solo, and then you know the bass player might do this, and then you play part of the song that you've rehearsed, but then you jam some more. Um, so it's just, it's just it, it almost feels more like the way I learned how to play jazz, but I'm playing techno or, or house. When we started doing our album, I think we were getting a bit carried away with trying to just use everything in the studio, and it didn't really have like a real sound. It didn't even really sound like us what we were doing because I think we started experimenting so much. 
Uh, that was the hardest part, I think, was really trying to find a direction, and it was a bit of a struggle. We're, we do multi-track what we're doing, but it's but we we write it all at the same time. So Dan will just start playing a keyboard line, or I'll, or I'll write a bass line, and and then we're all playing together. One of the neatest things about writing this album for me was uh, going through these long eight-hour segments of mixing the same song. Um, and then mixing it to the point and improvising off each other while we're mixing it and then getting to a point where we all agree, this is it, we did it, you know? Mm -hmm. Playing live for us is, is certainly where all our music is, is based, based on. Because even in the studio where it's kind of as though we'd be the same way we'd be playing in a club uh, with, the, with the way we write. I think for our music, the thing that's most beneficial is for us to vibe off of each other and really get excited about what each other's doing. And then I think the crowd is ultimately going to really enjoy that more so than, you know, because we're, we're all very intimate in terms of what we know the other person's role and elements are. We're all Geminis, <laughs> so, so we're all the same sign. We know where everyone, where each other has been and what each other can to sort of do and so when we're in the heat of the moment playing for people and one of us goes to a place that we've never seen before mm -hmm. it gets really exciting really quickly <laughs> yeah. and what ends up happening is for some reason the people in the audience react to that because yeah. they're connected to what we're doing so i guess we're just we're just trying to write really you know interesting music that that's new for us and hopefully new for other people um, and just and just kind of represent, you know, the the way we all are.